children taken from their mothers because they weren't married. It's a scandal that has hung over Ireland. But at the time, it was those births that were seen as shameful and something the country tried to hide. They said that you had abandoned him as a baby. I did not abandon my child. Philomena tells of one woman's battle to try to find out what happened to her son. And it's raised concerns about the actions of both the Irish state and the churches which ran the mother and baby homes. Yet the woman whose story inspired the film insists she bears no grudges. Well, the family believed is that we'd committed a mortal sin by having a baby out of wedlock. Uh, I mean, times are different today, thank goodness. But I mean, we just we were just led to believe we were we were sinners, and that was it. You know, it's a very sad event, and it's a very sad outcome. But um, you, you don't blame anybody, do you? No, I don't blame anybody. And Philomena is again putting her faith in the Catholic Church. Earlier this month, she met the Pope as part of her attempts to help mothers still searching. Philomena's story is not unusual. For decades, there was a shame associated with unmarried mothers, and children were taken away and in many cases sent overseas. Even now, there are people still trying to look for their family. Ireland's Adoption Authority has seen a significant increase in the number of people asking to see their files, but the country's law severely restricts access to that information. A couple of women say to me that I'm the first person they've spoken to, spoken about their lost child in, for maybe 30, 40 years. The Adoption Rights Alliance works with people trying to trace their parents or their children and it wants the law in Ireland changed to allow people access to their adoption records. Philomena Lee has been fantastic. She's appealing directly, particularly to those older women, um, to get rid of that shame and guilt and she's pointed out to them that the shame and guilt is not with them, it's with Irish society, it's with the Irish state and it's with the Catholic Church in Ireland. All the pieces of paper designed to help you find him have been destroyed. But guess and the real Philomena's family is appealing for adoption files to be opened up in the future. When I went on the journey, I didn't realise, I thought everywhere was like the UK, that at 18, you know, there were open adoption records. Obviously, I discovered that wasn't the case. Now to know that it's the film and myself telling the story is going to help a lot, especially my age group, women my age group, because still a lot of them are very reluctant to come out with their stories. The morality of the past is now being questioned, partly the result of what's being called the Philomena effect, but any change comes too late for some mothers who lost their children forever. Chris Buckler, BBC News.